hollow. It was like empty, moving mechanical and plastic. And all of a sudden, I was at the back of the building, and I start to hear this rhythm. And it was going. <coughs> sudden my adrenaline started pumping and I said I gotta get out of here and I turned and I started to run to the rhythm of this beat I was running to the rhythm of this beat and as I was running as I was running I saw these they were like an assembly line of boxes coming out of the, the building and I looked down there's one that looks like a casket and I said, what is that? And I kind of kicked the lid open, and when I did, a Nazi soldier sat straight up. And he came back to life, and I screamed. And I said, I don't want to go near that. So I pushed the box with my feet. This beat is getting louder and louder, and it's coming from inside of me, and it's coming from the farthest galaxy at the same time. And it's just like, of this explosion and I see Russia and China come out of it and I am, I am trying to get out of this dream. I went to bed meditating on the Song of Solomon. I was like, how did I get here? Get me out of this dream. And there was a man with the out of face standing next to me. The next thing I know, I'm falling into this atomic explosion and I hit the ground and when I look around, everything was code red. It was like you could hear the sirens going off. It was blood, it was fire, it was smoke, it was chaos, it was war. I don't know where I was, but I knew there was a mass chaotic something going on. I don't believe that's gonna be everywhere all over the earth, but this is very much going to happen. There's many, many scriptures that talk about this. All of a sudden, I'm at, in, the, in this dream, and the beat is getting louder. And I look up and I see the Lord. When I see the Lord, I knew in my heart that he was not the one causing the destruction, but he was causing the shaking. He was trying to wake people up. And he would do whatever it takes to wake yeah. people up. And I said, but Lord, I looked up and I saw him and he was running like a lion. He had a look in his eyes, like a look of a man, a jealous man in love who was fighting for his bride. He was so fierce looking, I was utterly confused. I started saying, Lord, I was backing away, I was looking down, Lord, Lord, what is going on? What is going on? And he looked at me and he said, zeal for my house has consumed me. Zeal for my house has consumed me. And I was shaking to the core. I said, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. But if this is you, what is evil? And he pointed this way, and there was like a religious, some kind of religious person growing flowers, and there was this aura of peace and safety. And the Lord looked at me, and he said, woe to those who call good evil and evil good in that day, and blessed are you if you are not offended. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good in that day. And blessed are you if you are not offended. I said, Lord, I am not offended. I did not understand anything that was going on. I was 20 years old when I had this dream. It was many, many years ago. And then I said, but Lord, if this is you, what do you want me to do? And he goes, sing, Zion, sing. Sing, Zion, sing. And I want to prophesy over you tonight. I want to prophesy over you. Sing, Zion, sing. Sing, Zion, sing. In the day of the trouble, in the day of the glory, in the day of the Lord that is coming around the corner, as it says in Habakkuk, that he's going to shake everything that can be shaken. He is coming like a mighty man of war. He is coming to fight for 
his beloved. He is coming to fight for his beloved. He came and he died. And now he will come and he will fight. But I prophesy over you. Sing Zion. Sing. Sing Zion. 